me now I start to smile. She say, for sick at the All People's Congress stakeholder meeting, where they be adopt to Thursday today, the fifteenth of July, twenty twenty one. And today the meeting is supposed to take place in the party office. But when they go to the party office this morning, they will meet the party office be closed. And because of that, I talk to Honorable Bundu, when I another senior member of the party, and also talk to Sheridan, when a member of the NRA. May them say we waiting and think where they come today and also how they feel when they come today in the party office, they meet the party office close. Hello, welcome to this interview. Your name and know that you be. I am Honorable Ibrahim Pundu, I am a former member of parliament where we represent constituency 52 in the Potloko district then. Today is now Karine district, we don't turn to constituency 66 and 67. I am a one time majority leader and leader of the uh, leader of government business. I uh, represent the party in a parliament for 15 years and uh, I don't also be um, uh, deputy regional chairman of uh, of the, of the northern region and also be chairman of port local districts uh, party apc party so those are just some of the brief uh titles that i don't hold over the period where i've been the, in the party okay honorable um last week thursday we'll be see usai the stakeholders for the all people's congress we get a meeting a stakeholder meeting we then be adjoined the meeting to this thursday but unfortunately this thursday also we go to the party office we see party office closed i go want for no waiting really happen well since you ask for the for the last meeting yes the last meeting now just a fulfillment of one of the requirements one of the recommendations we knock me accept way back in 2018 for let the party get a committee of elders way for the way for the address complaint way for the ad address quarrels then at the party and uh, imagine you know, from 2018 this is 2021 that particular body day even though knock me accept them in 20 in 2018 they never constitute them so for some of us where they read and want peace na the party now we approach me na one of them say there is a responsibility given to us since 2018 even though the uh, this current leadership they not constitutes this body please una no sit down una grab let una go let una go rescue the party because they are at crossroads so so palava so of course they look at the provision and then they, 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 they constitute themselves. Remember, we we'll get up to about 50 something where we we'll be identified. And quickly, last week, they'll be able to go meet. And uh, all of them unanimously accept that, yes, is a responsibility for them. So, one of the ways where they want to start the negotiations here, you know, in law, you for always hear the other side. So, they say now that the executive, the NRM, and other people in the party, uh, like uh, the one we currently then are called when I Peter Conte, why we not go call them three, them three factions here? Yeah? Before we, as a body of elders, may them can explain clearly waiting really in the matter. So we, the elders, go look at them, we examine them, they will come up with a solution. In fact, that was the basis of the adjournment when uh, last week, Thursday the 7th, to today the, 8, uh, the 15th. So today now we go this morning. Uh, a black hunter was there. Uh, Honorable Ibrahim Suri was there. We Stanley Bank College Johnson, myself, uh, Honorable Ibrahim Bundu, and so many others. In fact, Sherry Dan of uh, we represent NRM Minde, uh, Siraji Rollins Kamara, Honorable we himself represent uh, the other uh, faction of the NRM Minde. Even Kafoir, we have been one time plaintiff, where they all, they've been going to court in the first place. So many people were there. Musu Kande, Aja, Aja, Absatu Kaba, so many of them. They've been there today. Amidst all this, then get a team up day when Abdullah O. Conte ask, say, why would not they close the gate? Then say, then get instruction from the National Secretary General that this gate's not for open for no meeting of elders. He said, he asked if they sabi him. He said, yes, it will sabi you, but we don't get instruction. So the reason for that, we, as far as uh, me concern, Naya, I, I believe there is a fair factor. 
I believe there is a fair factor because this not to uh, this meeting was adjourned publicly. It is to the knowledge of everybody, including journalists, that the APC is meeting today for continue, which it means starts on the seventh. So the the other underlying reason they're not grief for explain. And I can also say, only yesterday when we interview uh, the working committee, we headed by Ibrahim Sori that at six thirty yesterday evening, then get a letter from the from the secretariat that uh, they're not going to get chance for can attend this particular uh, meeting because then get a meeting on Friday tomorrow, a meeting of NAC. But the question is, what has the meeting of NAC got to do with the responsibility and the meeting of the elders? And besides, not to the same venue and not to the same day. The meeting of the elders na O railway line, the national headquarters of the APC. The meeting of uh, NAC, Namakeni, to the leader and chairman or the party office Namakeni, different day, different venue. So we are just doubtful why this particular meeting was aborted with an instruction, strong instruction. You will see well built, but what they want, no one they see in the party office. Well, I don't even know, you know, that tells you that the party is in crisis. The elders have been approached by the other members of the party we want peace and these elders have yielded to that call and that call is not an ordinary call they are referring to the both the constitution of the party and the white paper we come out 2018 for a committee of elders and if these elders are there today and no less a person than the secretary general you go block them with thugs around of course, UNICEF as the journalist, we will now go attest to that, that uh, we see the scenario. And uh, one of the journalists will attempt for, for take snapshots, for let like, forget footages of this, was also manhandled. His phone was taken away. You know, his name is uh, Malik Shabazz. So basically, this thing happened today, this unfortunate incident. As you said, now senior members of the All People's Congress, I go want for know what in actually you think say this mean to the membership of APC. It's very unfortunate. It is very, very unfortunate because this is not a way forward. Look at you attended the last meeting and he reported it about what happened. Peaceful, constructive. In fact, now that encouragement, they now make them call for the second meeting. For let them meet with the, the them people here, Alfred Peter Conte, uh, Sh uh, Sheridan, uh, 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 that, uh, um, Rollins Kamara, and the other dissident them, or the other people them, we get, uh, we get issues with the party. For make them find a way forward. You see, a political party... Then they are not to think their way strange because now a democratic process. Criticizing a political party is not a, an anti party, it's a democratic process. Talking about courts, everybody will be know the APC. In fact, now, now, now court to come out, we go convention in 2005. It was not, the, you know, because anytime we issues then arise, that particular issue they was also solved by the elders. Today, this particular uh, 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 impasse within the party, in fact, the man we co-chair, we call say co-chair uh, 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 the, 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 the nine-man committee in 2018. Now, the same man, Ablai Conte, Naimi, Naimi, Naimi put to rest that, that particular issue there. So we just doubt that... Uh, Things are not improving. And, and, this, and this incident too, they talk about in, in, in 2005, it involved around the current chairman and leader, Anes Kuruma, and the answer, these people were in court in 2000 and 2002 because the answer was also a, 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 a member of the national executive. He was the, chair, he was the, he was the secretary general of the, of the party. So he was in court together with Anes Kuruma, Philips in Kamara and many more on the same constitution, 1995 constitution. 
So today, if he repeats himself, the same Ablai content will be resolved that problem. It championed the, 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 uh, this particular issue back. I don't see any reason, any harm, why they don't give the opportunity for that to happen. So now, waiting at the way forward, looking at the situation we happen today, the stakeholders, they're not able for meet, for making them continue the meeting where they don't start. Waiting will be the way forward. Well, we will not able to meet now the party office. We'll meet now, we'll meet now the, uh, the co convener in house. We're now Honorable Ibrahim Sori. For we get a reflection, for we get a cool off period. Yes, if we cannot meet the, the, at the party office, you know, we see so many, uh, 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 you know, infiltrators into the, we being responsible people, we, we quickly, Take a decision for go na the co convener when the Honorable Ibrahim Sori in house. We sit down there and uh, the people that we come will address them adequately, all in a view for let them bring peace, let them exercise uh, uh, restraint, let them exercise patience because detractors would have loved us to, to, to put up a fight. Other, but, but the other people that we come, they wanted to retaliate, we we'll say no. Now I make we get me house na APC house. Ibrahim Suri in house, we all comrades, we get places. We, if we know we meet in a party, okay, meet any side. APC is meeting everywhere. We are all very responsible, respectable people for host any party meeting anytime. We are, we are members of this party and we are not only OTSEP, we have a credential for actually bring peace to this party. And by the grace of God, the way forward is we are going to bring peace. The one that we've been taking their time out, then come. We able for sit down with them, then vent out their, their views. We put them all together, and we are going to continue to get those views put together, exercise patience, and come up with a solution where we go announce to the public ASAP as soon as possible. So in that case, as you say, when I come up with a solution, where when I get for announced to the public, in that case, when I not put any dates for further meeting. Well, the, the the meeting today now just for cool temp tempers. Now, just uh, a reflection of what happened at the party office. Unfortunate as it is, some people had wanted to react, but we tell them, say, no, let us avoid that because we are, we are, the elders are there for peace. We did it, uh, now responsibility for bringing peace to the party. So we ask that we are una patient in the struggles of the APC. We always know say, there is victory, especially for 2023. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, welcome to this interview. Your name and know that you be. Me na Mohamed Sheridan Kamara. Me na the chairman for the National Reformation Movement, NRM, where they within the APC party. Today, the stakeholders for the All People's Congress supposed to get a meeting in a party office today because of the last meeting where they be given a Thursday, then be post, then be adjoin the meeting to today when a Thursday again outside and say the three parties then get for go submit and NRM now one party people then we get for go submit, all right? Yes, exactly. Um, the elders committee or the Ellas Council, they meet last week and then um, they be adjourned the meeting, the agenda for today, the 15th, and then um, they invite me and um, the NRM formally for go do a submission as to what it will be the way forward for the party in progress. So now today they be put the meeting and then um, they be invited to the party office, but unfortunately the meeting will be hold, then say they lock the party office, we then say Pansane, when I say general, give orders men lock the party office so the meeting will be hold at all. So now we um, we know the issue where NRM get with the party and also now the stakeholders call on for get us for make on go submit for make them go know the way forward and today we on go on meet the party office close. So what in this mean to Una? Well, we feel very, very disappointed, you know, a, a very, very frustrating for the party. Well, not so for we, because we know the kind of people we would deal with exactly. But um, it is so disappointing that um, at a moment like this, when you don't get so many factions at the party, you don't get so many challenges, elders and people like Ablai Conte and other baby people at the party, some of them not, not, not even register the party at critical moments um, where the party be in disarray. If they can't together, 
of which even the party again recognize the fact say they for come and form the Elas council if they don't come together for bring all the factions together if they call for a meeting today it's very 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 unfortunate that um, the secretary general of the party give orders for me to unlock the party office me then lock the open there make an get away for enter the party office as if the party now get person property and then um, this is a party who feel say now everybody in property i mean it's a public property as long as you're a member of the party you do contribute you do subscribe you are a member of the party and therefore if it gets right to the party office so it's very very unfortunate that the party deprive Comrades, they are very, very senior comrades. Comrades, for some of them, even senior, pass them where they do so delicate today, for making them, for making them can't deprive them, not forget access to the party office. We condemn that one day, we as NRM, we condemn them in the very, very strong terms, and we don't feel say now this kind of thing for the continue. In fact, one of the reasons we make we be going to court when we feel so disgruntled with the activities of the Secretary General, and then kind of things there. There was a time we get a meeting, a conference at Naput Local. We call a conference at Poloko. We write them formally. We ask that they give me access to the Poloko Hall for me to go to conference. Initially, they accepted. When we went to Poloko, then just find a way, then lock the place, call police them, fire tear gas by way, disperse everybody. So when we feel this gun tool, we come at the party office, then lock the, we go to a place, then lock. Say, well, we're going to court for, for go seek redress. So we they call on the party for stopping things that already happen so because. Time not in no favor anymore. Everybody they say, oh, we need for count together. Time is drawing very, very closer for elections 2023. But um, it is the leadership of the party who get the responsibility for bringing everybody together so as we go for pushing for the bigger picture. So we condemn this way happens all today with very, very strong terms. We condemn them completely. But however, we also encourage the elders not for relent. It is their duty for calm in a moment like this, we very, very critical. We we'll get so many factions. Now, their own responsibility as moral guarantors, as elders of the party, for stepping and make sure the right thing be done. So, after the elders and we go to the party office and then they meet the party office closed and we get on to Ona again? Yes, definitely. Then get on to we. When they meet the party office closed, um, then call me and say, Sheridan, of course, we don't carry the party office closed. Mister, I say, fine, myself don't look at the situation. Indeed, the party office is closed. So, therefore, what can we do in the circumstance? You know, well, we go for meet somewhere where in a confined place. We discuss the issues. You know, we discuss, we give them new reports as to exactly what they want for a reform. We, we give a status report and we tell them what we want for C going forward. So, then get everything recorded down. And then say them go take necessary steps them for see how then go draw all the factions and come together for me to resolve the, the, the issue we get with the party so that we all go for move on as a formidable team. So as for now, waiting at the way forward for NRM, since the the stakeholders and try for call on her together and this situation don't come up outside the party office be closed for Lona go get a meeting today. So waiting will be the way forward right now for Una. Yes, um we don't make a position very, very clear. You know, initially we get an MOU when a memorandum of understanding. Later we get so many, so, so much misunderstanding. And um, now the situation we is very, very critical. You know, we get Alfred Peter Conte when the plaintiff in our court against the party. And um, the court we don't give orders. And then orders that the court give. Now we as a party, now we ask the court. Now we go to court, we ask the judge say, you know what? We want for adopt with constitution. You know what? We want for move on with the uh, 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 with we party. Now give we the opportunity, pull the, the injunction where we don't put on the party, where we don't place slam on the party, remove them so that we go go and adopt a democratic constitution. We one day in line with the country 1991 constitution, and two we also go open space for more other comrades for come and participate. The judge in your wisdom. Take into consideration the democratic strides we, we don't make as young people them for fit for this constitution. The judge say, okay, no problem. The judge removed the injunction where we don't slam against the party. So the judge say, no, what? We now go and go adopt on a new constitution we are on draft. But however, Mr. A and Mr. B, because the the position where they hold on the party, other person don't challenge in a court. Make them wait. Make other people go adopt the constitution. When they adopt and when they come, they will handle this case in business. Make everything done. Yeah, we in fact we don't even engage Alfred Conte the plaintiff. Now we now remember it's also NRM. We don't talk to them. All what we want now for see that say this constitution is adopted, because the fact remains the 1995 constitution 
they don't abuse them very, very seriously. They don't abuse them. They don't make them very, very, you know, you know, you don't get any use anymore. They, they use them at their own advantage. So all what they call for now, make the party adhere to the orders of the judge. Now then go ask, make the judge remove the injunction, we don't stand against the party, make you go adopt the constitution. Now the judge don't give the orders. Okay, we'll go ahead, I don't allow now. We'll go adopt the constitution. But they are saying, because some of them we hold positions, though illegally, I must state, we hold an illegal position and they the judge don't say they're not for participating in the process, so therefore they need to adopt no constitution. We take that for be an affront. It's a contempt of court. Now you go ask the court for give orders there. Now the court don't give the orders there now because they're not in your favor, you say they implement the orders and they so therefore we they talk to the party leadership from the chairman and leader and the secretary general and any other person we, we, we hold position in the party. They don't say we don't they tell them as the leader of the, the NRM say you know what? Make we go adopt this constitution. Now follow the court in orders them for the good of the party. So all what you can say at this moment, make them follow the court in orders them. Yeah, because if they say they follow the court in orders them, well, then the court get forget issue for contempt. And on one hand, and at the same time, me strongly believe say the case holding a court, not a case wouldn't go win. Because the 1995 constitution self wouldn't get wouldn't nine and have open, it very, very clear. The constitution say therefore elect you. They not say therefore select you. And most of them were selected. I attended the, 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 the conference in, in, in McKinney. The convention in McKinney, where Dr. Samura and, and Kamara were selected to be the flag bearer. That's the same way most of them were selected to be uh, uh, to hold their positions. So if a person challenge you now and say we are not legitimate, it is very, very clear. The evidence is very clear. It in our YouTube, it in other places, videos and they for sure say now nah, select them, select to now, they're not elect to now. So what's in really the fight for? Now a case when I lose in battle, you're not gonna win the case. So the more you continue for appeal in a court, you will continue for loss the appeal. The last time we we'll go to McKinney. Me advise them say there's no need for an appeal because if you appeal, we will lose the appeal. They refuse the appeal, we in kind of court, they lost the appeal. Now they want to go back to the court of appeal. If they go, they then go continue for loss. Even if they go to Supreme Court, they will continue for loss because the law is very clear. The constitution of the party is very clear. They don't violate them very, very seriously. Okay, assuming without conceding that um, indeed they be the holding them positions there eh, legitimately, as then they argue, say, in fact, then they elect them. But the fact remains, even now, as we talk, their mandate will expire. Now, three years for rule four. From 2018 to now, the mandate will expire once, they extend the mandate, again, it will expire currently. So as we speak now, there's no extension, there's nothing, they just don't know more, they hold the positions there. Eh. But for the sake of peace, make we all don't allow them, we they observe, would you push, push them small, small, make them do the correct thing they're supposed to do. Because now, it's a buffer zone. The chairman and leader in money don't expire. The secretary general in money don't expire. They all money don't expire. Anybody can decline himself as secretary general overnight. Anybody can be PRO. Myself now can say tomorrow, I am the chairman of the party. Everybody money don't expire. But for the sake of peace, make we all not allow them. Many are still the day, so that's a vacuum no good day. Yeah, because now we all party, we all love the party. We not going to vacuum. They completely make fet fet no can. Make we all keep cool. We observe them, but they have to do the correct thing. They have to do the right thing. For go adopt constitution, we go open the space for make everybody can can participate. And obviously, not a bad thing at all. A constitution we go make anybody we want for be member of parliament. Go to your constituency. Make people and vote for you. If people decide they want, no problem. So that they go stop for the impose people them. Pulling a lomely, go pushing a calbaton, pulling na na na, na makeni, then can't push in a lomely. Even when people say we don't want you, they say no the nine, nine popular, na, the party nine popular. Now this is the give symbol. So now that kind of thing we want for cut off at all. We as young people them, we want to make it there, there be a play a, a level playing field. Mm -hmm. Wherein everybody get the opportunity for contest and you get as much as possible according to your contributions to the party. And you don't need to be connected to any big man at the party. You don't need to be the richest person. You don't need to be the president, a former president in Peking. You don't need to be a, a minister of Peking. All what you need for be, you know, a comrade of the party and the people now your constituency now you didn't want. Then you forget the opportunity for serve. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome.